What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. The Overwatch 2 beta came to a close a little more than a week ago at this point, but now we are finally starting to get some updates from the Overwatch team once again, this time regarding some of the feedback and data they accumulated from the past Overwatch 2 beta. Specifically for today, we have a blog post outlining feedback regarding the Moira and Mercy changes, which we saw go to the Overwatch 2 beta during that final week of it. If you aren't familiar with these changes or just don't remember since it has been a little bit at this point, I'll have a link to my video actually outlining that update and everything that was included with it in the cards on screen, so feel free to check that out. Or you can just watch the super pro Moira gameplay going on in the background right now, because yeah, I'm definitely a top tier support player. But anyways, let's get on to the blog post and see what the devs actually had to say regarding it. So starting with Moira, after taking community feedback into account, we've decided to revert the Moira beta changes, namely the new necrotic orb ability. We'll dive deeper into this in an upcoming statistics blog, but the main reason for its removal is that the overall gameplay loop became too passive for many players. The power that Necrotic Orb brought to the table necessitated a long cooldown to make the effect impactful, but not overly frustrating to play against. However, this meant that many players would just hold the ability for the perfect moment, which had the side effect of decreasing the amount of cool stuff happening in moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and shifting too much of it into healing. Necrotic Orb and all of Moira's compensation nerfs will be reverted in time for Overwatch, Watch League starting August 11th. Now, personally, I actually really liked this change for Moira. As many of you likely know, I often complain about the support category in general, and especially with Overwatch 2, how many of the supports feel like they're just sort of getting pushed into this purely healing direction. But I actually found that this Moira change introduced a lot of cool new utility for Moira, specifically with that necrotic orb. I love being able to just shoot that at an ulting Genji or a Junker Queen who is wrecking shop on my team and be able to actually do something cool by negating the enemy's ability to do a ton of damage. I thought it was a really fun mechanic to introduce and fit really well with Moira's kit. But I will admit the cooldown and percentage of damage reduction it offered did seem a little extreme. And I'm wondering if in a different timeline where Blizzard had more time to sort of test out this change as part of the Overwatch 2 beta, if maybe we would have seen a second iteration of this Moira ability where it had a shorter cooldown but not as much of a damage reduction aspect, which would seemingly alleviate the problems they mentioned here in this blog post, but no, it seems like Blizzard has decided, unfortunately, that they're just gonna cut that change entirely. So it seems like going forth from here, there won't be any necrotic orb or enfeebling mechanic, which is a little sad, I must admit, but eh, it's probably for the best. Moving on to Mercy though, Super Jump is the result of a bug that occurred during Guardian Angel. This bug became a core mechanic of high level Mercy gameplay, and it added a lot of depth to her movement. Our goal was to integrate it into her kit for Overwatch 2, so it wasn't as hidden for new players. We recognized that the first iteration of Guardian Angel didn't quite feel right, and we saw similar thoughts from our players. We're currently testing another iteration of Guardian Angel that includes the directional control we added in the beta, but also allows Mercy to super Super jump in a similar way as before. This means canceling the ability with Crouch will launch her straight upwards without having to look in that direction. So more or less this is them saying, hey, more Guardian Angel super jump changes coming some point later down the line, because apparently the ones they introduced in this most recent patch for the beta just weren't cutting it either. Honestly, at this point, I'm starting to wonder if Blizzard is ever gonna find a happy little final position for the Guardian Angel super jump, because I've long been someone who complains about the super jump, mainly because of how janky it is. I'm fine with the utility it gives Mercy, it's just the jankiness of it, especially visually, ugh, it's always looked horrible. So I was really glad when Blizzard was like, hey, we're gonna actually start to try to find a way to properly integrate this into our kit. But at this point, it's like, how many more iterations are there gonna be? Is it even gonna be worth it in the long run for them to try to fix this thing? And who knows how much dev testing and development time has gone into it at this point. But I guess for you Mercy players, it's exciting to see another version of Mercy on the way. Personally, I never play Mercy, so it's all the 
the same to me, more or less. But I just find it funny how often Blizzard just seems to keep coming back to this and keep testing new iterations of this Guardian Angel fix, and none of them seem to really be sticking, but I don't know. Maybe this will be the one. Maybe whatever upcoming change this is, whenever it ends up happening, whether it's going to be in the next beta or live Overwatch, I don't know, they don't really specify. Maybe that'll be the one that finally actually works for her. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. On another note, I will mention that Blizzard did mention there will be more upcoming sort of statistics and feedback analysis regarding the Overwatch 2 beta, which is very exciting. We, of course, got a really neat blog post following the first Overwatch 2 beta, where they outlined the playtime and different, like, win rates and stuff of different heroes, so hopefully we end up getting something along those same sort of lines for the second beta sometime soon. But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts on everything that was discussed in this very brief blog post by dropping a comment down below. Are you sad to see that the Moira changes are going to end up getting reverted, or maybe you're excited to try yet another iteration of Mercy's proper super jump. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, hit up that bell icon, and come join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future Overwatch content. And special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.